Namaste parents and children. Today for the Friday fun activity 2 we have come with the interesting experiment which is float and sink. And this is what the arrangement we have made. So ensure you take n number of objects which can sink and float and write sink and float on the paper and keep ready for your child. And I have taken few items like ball, paper, leaf, peck, feather, spoon, small bottle, pencil, key, stone and a coin. Now let us put all these things one by one into the water and let us see whether the objects float or sink. So, if it is a float, the objects which are lighter and then those objects will start flowing on the water. The objects which are heavier are those which starts to go and sink in the bottom of water. Now, I have kept the wider transparent a tray here with filled with water. You can use any other item in your house and take a few objects like this and start doing the experiment and tell the child why it floats and tell the child why it sinks. Let us take the object one by one. Now let's take a ball. And drop it into the water. See the ball is floating in the water. Yes. Next we will go to the next item. Stone. Ah, stone is heavier and it went to the bottom of the water. So it is sinking. Yes. Next we will take a feather. And see whether it floats or sinks. Feather is lighter and it is floating on the water. Next we will take a marble. Marble is the heavier object. Marble sinks down. Next we will come to the paper. Paper is lighter. The paper is floating on the water. Next we will take a coin. This coin went right bottom. So it sank. Next we will go and take a leaf. Yes. The leaf is floating. That is because it is very, very light. Let's take a spoon. Spoon is light and the spoon is floating. Yes, let's take a key now. Ha, key is heavier and it's right away sinked at the bottom. Yes. We will take a pencil. Ha, pencil is lighter. Pencils are floating. We will take a bottle now. The bottle is lighter. The bottle is floating in the water. Yes. Then we will take a peg. Let's see what will happen to a peg. Okay, peg is little heavier and it starts sinking. Now, let us arrange this object one by one accordingly. Namaste parents and children. Welcome back to the session on float and sink. Now, in the first session, we saw how the items 
and the objects either they floated or the sink the items which are lighter they floated on the top the items which are uh, heavier they went inside to the bottom and that is called sink now i have segregated the items and let, let us look the items one by one the ball pencil feather spoon plastic bottle leaf and paper are the objects which floated on the water now let us see the objects which are heavier and then went inside and sank stone coin marble key and peg are the objects which just sank inside the water now what you need to do is take few items in the in your house write float and sink and kindly make the child to do the experiment and realize that the items which are heavier it sinks the items which are lighter it floats i will be sending you the worksheets with the explanation so all these experiment has to come to me by end of the day thank you parents and children